Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about an upcoming extreme pattern that we're going to be in that could bring some severe weather alongside that heat wave that we've been talking about as well. So there's plenty of things to talk about in the upcoming pattern. <music> Now, first things first, I wanted to mention this is going to be the storm reports from May 17th. I've, like I've been saying, been uploading these scheduled uploads, so this could be... I'm, I'm making this at some point during my vacation, uh, but I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. But this was May 17th. We did have plenty of severe weather going on. That was a moderate risk of severe weather. We had 20 tornado reports so far, 29 wind reports, and then 68 hail reports. That comes to a total of 117 total uh total reports of severe weather so very very extreme uh severe weather day that we actually had just on may 17th now quickly i wanted to show you how the pattern has been going and then we're going to kind of compare we're going to compare that to how it is expected to go now this is the past 10 days temperature anomalies and as you can see the greens the blues that is indicating below normal temperatures there especially the greens and then those areas in the ohio valley that are almost like a very light shade there, almost a whitish color there. That is where we've had very far below normal temperatures over the previous 10 day period. Here's the past five days, and as you can see, we've also had far below normal temperatures. A little bit of a different location there though, mostly the southeastern corner of the United States, dealing with those far below normal temperatures over the previous five days. You can also see that PNA out west, we have those very far above normal temperatures in the western United States and the northern United States as well over the past five days. Now let's go ahead and finally take a look at the future now, and this is gonna be for the day today, Tuesday, May 18th. As you can see, mostly some near normal conditions for the Eastern United States. Gonna be kind of a pleasant change after the pattern we've been in. With the very cold temperatures, we're finally seeing some temperatures that are near normal at least, if not above normal. So very, very nice, pleasant temperatures are gonna be around throughout the day today. We do have some colder than normal conditions for a couple spots especially the south central United States there, and then also the northwestern United States. Outside of that, it's near normal or above normal mostly. By the time we're reaching tomorrow, Wednesday, May 19th, you can see that we're going to be dealing with warmer than normal conditions for most of the eastern United States. So this warmer pattern that we're going to be in is finally building in by this point. We do see, again, the colder than normal conditions along the western coast there, and then also the south central United States as well. So this is a very similar pattern to what we've been seeing over the past few days before that. But we are progressively heading more and more towards a warmer pattern for the eastern United States, if not hotter pattern, because we are expecting a heat wave like I've mentioned before as well. So what we're going to do here in a moment is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at Thursday. Thursday, uh, and that's going to be May 20th. And then we're going to take a look at you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, and just take a look at when that heat wave is expected to arrive. All right, now here we are taking a look here at Thursday, May 20th, and as you can see, we're dealing with those colder than normal conditions in the western United States. That encourages some hot air to move into the eastern United States, and you can see that that is taking place. That is what we call a negative PNA. I've been talking about this for probably about a month now, trying to teach you guys about this negative PNA and how we're going to go from a positive PNA to a negative PNA and exactly what that means for the weather in the United States or where you live. Uh, so we're dealing with some very hot temperatures in the eastern United States, but not nearly a heat wave yet. That is on the way, though. By the time we reach Saturday, May 22nd, you can see that we have very warm temperatures compared to normal for the eastern United States. The further north you go, the more above normal it is. Uh, but basically, we're going to see widespread 80s in the eastern United States. We see colder than normal conditions still for the western United States, which is going to help that warmer pattern build in for the eastern United States and just stick around overall mostly. Uh, now, by the time we are reaching about Sunday, that's going to be May 23rd, uh, you can see that we still are dealing with the warmer than normal conditions in the eastern United States. So basically, it just has not gone away by this point, which is obvious. We still see some colder temperatures around for the western United States, um, which is very, very interesting. And that's just going to prolong this pattern we're in here uh, overall. Now, by the time we move this towards about Monday time frame, and that's going to be May 24th, you can see that it is a lot of the same. Those reds around for the eastern United States, the blue around for the western United States mostly, which is indicating a cold in the west, warm in the east pattern here, which is the pattern that we've been expecting to move into. Uh, and finally, it is arriving here by this 
point. Very, very awesome to see this just coming around and actually occurring. Uh, very, very awesome stuff here. Now, let's just go ahead and start talking about the actual temperatures here. So this is the beginning of our first potential heat wave. This is going to be Saturday, May 22nd. As you can see, widespread 80s and 90s. Anywhere you see those gray colors showing up, that is where we have 90s around. The darker reds are upper 80s, and then the oranges are more like 70s and lower 80s. Uh, so, yeah, we are seeing very, very hot temperatures around for uh, the eastern United States. And if you thought that was hot, let's take a look at, at Tuesday, and that's going to be May 25th. Look at that upper 90s widespread throughout the southeastern United States. Uh, even some of those 90s creeping into the mid-Atlantic states, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland. And then we have 100 showing up for Georgia and South Carolina, potentially even Florida, possibly even creeping uh, up towards maybe 105 degrees. Very, very hot temperatures for sure showing up here according to our European model. And then by the time we are reaching about, let's see, Wednesday time frame on May 26th, this is day two of that second potential heat wave. As you can see, widespread 90s again, maybe even some 100s, very similar spots as well. And then by the time we're reaching Thursday, May 27th, you can see again, 90s and 100s are around for the southeastern United States. Now, I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but in order to be an official heat wave, you need three days in a row of 90 degrees plus, and this is our third day with 90 degrees plus, according to the European model, and that is why we are expecting a potential heat wave here, according to this model very, very interesting stuff. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on. We're going to talk a little bit more about that severe weather that could potentially come alongside uh, this heat wave because the more warm and moist temperatures we see, the more thunderstorms we expect to see as well. All right, now here we are taking a look at our convective available potential energy. And there is plenty of cape that's going to be around due to all of this uh, warm and moist air that is moving in. This is by Wednesday morning time frame, and as you can see, we have thousands of CAPE here, 2,000 to 3,000 to 4,000 to even 5,000 CAPE around, mostly for Texas, but also some surrounding states as well in the central United States. This is just going to increase those odds of severe weather activity. The more CAPE we have around, the more potential energy that is around for those thunderstorms, obviously. CAPE stands for Convective Available Potential Energy, so that's pretty obvious. Um, now, by the time we're reaching about Friday, May 21st, we have 1,000 to 2,000 to even 3,000 CAPE around here uh, in the United States, the central United States. And then by the time we're reaching Tuesday, May 25th, you can see another event that is potential. Uh, we have 1,000, 2,000 to 3,000 to even 4,000 CAPE around here for the central United States on Tuesday, according to the European model. And then by the time we reach Friday, uh, this model has a ton of CAPE, potentially even above 5,000 Cape there in the central United States. Very interesting. I think it's a little far-fetched. That's at, that's at hours 240, so the odds of that are a little bit lower, but still very interesting to see it showing those very high Cape amounts once we get these hot temperatures in the United States. Now, we do have a few severe weather days that we're expecting to be possible. First off, day one, which is, again, Tuesday, May 18th, from the time I'm making this video, a slight risk of severe weather is around there for Texas, and a marginal risk is surrounding that as well. And then we have our day three risk, which is for Thursday, May 20th. I do expect this video will be out by then, obviously. Uh, we're expecting a marginal risk up there near the eastern end of the Rockies, so kind of east of the Rockies, and then also a slight risk. This is a classic tornado area, and I'm going to be kind of curious to see how that day plays out as well, uh, because, again, that is just a classic tornado area where we quite frequently see some tornado events. Um, obviously, the population is pretty low in that area, uh, but we do see some tornado events in that area from time to time. Anyway, for our confidence tab, we're at a 5 out of 6. I expect an increase in severe weather. I expect um, one or two heat waves. And then I expect colder than normal conditions out west, and that's all we've called for in this video. I'm extremely confident in those three things happening. Anyway, for today's patron hazard of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, John Ben Benick, James Wade, Doby Nagel, Lair the Pan, and Donna Carnes. Alongside our Diamond Patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Michael Campiel, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Falego, Garys, John Qualisi, and Dwight Phelan. If you would like to be a part of this awesome patron on screen of the day, you can do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I'd also like to thank our channel members, our Weathertop Dogs, Hair Farms 1, and Catbite as well. 
Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button. Be sure to leave a comment down below for that YouTube algorithm. And be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.